Hey filmmaker Shung here. In this video, I'm releasing the Jitter Shake presets for Premiere Pro. So these are all kinds of shakes and jitters, and pretty much they are drag and drop effects. So here we have like the folder inside showing the presets, CD, Jitter, Shake, and they all last for 15 seconds. I don't think you need them to be any longer than that. Sometimes you want to have those shake elements like for a certain music that drops or like a hi-hat that uh, continues for a certain seconds. So that is mostly what the shakes are for. Personally, what I do is I hold down Alt and drag the clip to the second layer. This makes it a little bit easier to also, uh, if you don't want the effect, you can just delete it. And then just grab like a section, cut it out, and then just add the effect. And here the blur shake, it says custom angle. So this actually adds like a blurry effect to it and we can adjust the angle if you don't like it to be just straight up you can and angle it so this is the heavy shake sometimes at certain music videos they like to add that part and earthquake this is mainly just going up and down like there's a earthquake happening so these are uh, the double layer on top is similar to the ones on here but uh, the double layer on top you really need to put it onto a layer above uh, another thing is you can duplicate and combine with the ones that are in the folders above so you can actually mix and match different effects on top of each other to get like a more prominent effect. So to get this preset go to the link in the description below. There'll be a link to this website and this is the most important section. If you already subscribed or like please press one of the other buttons tweet or share out this page and uh, after you've done that this part will disappear and the download link will appear. And also if you like what I do there's also a donate button here below. Once you have downloaded the file, go to your effects tab, go to preset, right mouse click on it and choose import and import the preset and it will be in Shunda's preset bin. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also check all my other videos on this channel. There's more presets and tutorials. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.